Welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man, back in the studio with another completed commission. Uh, we got another one of our Army's Emperor's Finest Adeptus Custodes commissions. Uh, this one consists of uh, six of the Dawn Ego Jet Bikes and then one uh, Shield Captain on Relic Jet Bike. Uh, the Relic Jet Bike is uh, one of our standard conversions. Uh, we add on like the cape on the back there and uh, little wings and shields on the bike itself. Uh, and each of the bikes as well as the uh, shields are magnetized so what we do here is magnetize uh, the actual base itself so it clips on and then also uh, the uh, lance arm as well uh, don't don't mind the uh, bases these are not glued just for shipment to keep it a little easier uh, but each of those is done in that uh, standard way uh, and then you'll see next we have uh, 10 adeptus custodes up front here uh, those are our standard custodian guard and then uh, with the typical, uh, we'll do one up as a shield captain as well. So he has no uh, helmet on and he could be used as either a squad leader or a shield captain, depending what your army composition is. Uh, and then next we have uh, five of the, uh, oh man, I can't think of what they're called now. The elite guys with the axes. Uh, we've got uh, five of those. And then once again, we do one up specifically. Um, with uh, no helmet and make him look like a shield captain give him like the cloak upgrade and everything so he can be used as either a shield captain uh, with the axe or in your uh, standard squad and then next we've done the same thing with the Allurus terminators uh, we have five of those and then once again we've given one of them the uh, shield captain upgrade uh, which again could be run as either a squad leader or uh, specifically a shield captain uh, and then that brings us on next to our uh, two grav tanks uh, and these are the um, Caladius Grav Tanks. Uh, and each one has got uh, both turret options uh, in this instance. So what we did is went ahead and painted up uh, each of the two turret options. And then we go ahead and do uh, magnets on the bottom as well. So the turret itself is uh, magnetized. Uh, so that's not going to be like flopping around all over the place. Anybody who knows these just don't have the best fit. Uh, so they can be uh, troublesome at times. And then also... Uh, for this commission we did also the uh, base is magnetized as well so what we do is go ahead and uh, put magnets in the mount of the base and then we have the clear bit on the bottom so that you can easily transport it with uh, the base separately uh, so you don't have to worry about that like snapping off or popping off you can also move the model around freely uh, in game terms without the base just like falling off uh, while you're trying to move it etc uh, so that's a uh, pretty cool and then we have also our um, dreadnoughts as well. So here we have the Achilles. Uh, actually, no, this is the other one. The uh, Again, I always forget the names, of course, when I go to make these videos. But here's the Spear Dreadnought. Uh, this one is uh, pretty cool. Definitely a big fan of this pose. Kind of gave him like a little more of like the uh, kind of cleaver looking uh, pose. And then we went ahead and magnetized him at the arms again for easy transport. So you can remove... Uh, the arms and put them separately in your case uh, and then when you're ready to play with them you can obviously uh, you know put them back on and then we have this one is the uh, Achilles with the sword and shield and then for this one uh, once again the arms are magnetized so because he's not holding obviously his weapons like in uh, two hands like that you can kind of shift it around and this one's a little more like actually posable uh, as well as uh, magnetized for the uh, easy transport uh, and then we've got the big boy in the back here. Oh, and they're uh, all magnetized at the waist as well. Uh, so you can like fully pose them, turn them, and then once again, pull them apart uh, for easy transport. And then in this case, we have the arms done. Also, uh, the top missile is done as well, so that can shift. Uh, and then next, we've done the uh, fist as well. So that's fully posable there. And then you can also uh, twist this portion that is magnetized as well uh, so you get like the fully posable abilities on this bad boy uh, you definitely uh, should incorporate quite a few magnets I think with the custodies armies uh, one for transport and then two obviously for like weapon options and uh, also just uh, you know the posability of them etc uh, and then next we have uh, Valerian over here uh, very very cool model uh, definitely came out very nice pleased with that and then uh, his counterpart Alea uh, who will be eventually for this uh, army commission uh, the next portion of it will be leaving uh, plenty of the uh, 
once again, of course, I can't think of their names. I don't know why I always blank when I go to make these videos, but. Uh, and then here we have uh, Vexilus Praetor. Uh, this one is uh, set up with the axe, but again, magnetized. And then we have the shield option as well. Uh, so you can kind of change up the army however you please, uh, depending on like which option you choose for that, uh, for that army list. Uh, and then of course that brings us to the big boy, uh, Trajan. And then he is set up on like his uh, pedestal base. And then once again, there's magnets in his base that mount to the pedestal. So he's on like that cool uh, exotic display base, but can obviously be uh, removed as well. And you can see the uh, magnet in the bottom right there. Uh, and it's uh, drilled out and then set in place so it doesn't break out over time. Uh, but overall, very happy with how the uh, commission came out. This is definitely one of my favorites. Not only the color scheme and style, but the final product of it uh, is absolutely phenomenal. And then uh, once again, just the this specific style of basing is my favorite style. And I would say probably the fan favorite as well. Uh, it's very popular for commissions. But you can see here how we've done the bases uh, and then added on the rubble. And if you haven't watched a video previously on how we make these bases, uh, there's a video on how we make and paint them as well. And then, uh, you know, fully magnetized. And then we've got obviously like the, this is one of the conversions where we give them that cool cape and everything, convert the bike to have the shield on front and then like the hand wing shields on the sides as well. And then once again, obviously uh, magnetized arms. So these guys can be easily transported without having to worry about them breaking or uh, having any difficulties with them. Uh, and that really helps with your longevity for the actual army because there's nothing worse than having like a beautiful army and then every time you go to move it it breaks so then you don't want to like take it to the shop or transport it to a uh, convention or whatever wherever you're planning on playing so then you just want to like leave it in your display case and have it be pretty uh, that's not what this is all about I mean obviously we want the army to look great and everything but the key is to be able to not only have an awesome looking army that's fully painted and themed but also to be able to transport it, play with it, and uh, truly enjoy it as well. So uh, as you can see, the army absolutely uh, came out phenomenally. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. And uh, again, one of my favorites. Uh, I wish I kept track of the overall total time uh, that I put into this one so I would have a better idea. As uh, it does take quite a while, obviously, um, to do up this style and everything. Uh, but the final product is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it's much easier to do just like your standard gold custodes army and then washed and dry brush and everything uh, this one uses the contrast paints for the white and then like your standard paints for uh, everything but the blue which is also like multiple layers of the contrast so uh, but if you like the army make sure you leave a comment uh, if you are curious about the bases or how we do them I encourage you to check out the uh, videos as well and uh, you know make some of your own they're very easy to make they take a little bit of time and effort uh, overall they cost about the same as what you would pay for like textured bases or probably what you would spend like making your own bases uh, with like a roller or something like that uh, the process is uh, you know it's a little bit time consuming but overall when you're doing a big army like this uh, it's definitely worth it and then it adds so much extra flavor to it and as you can see just looking at the army uh, no two bases are alike uh, every I've done hundreds of these bases in the past and again none of them are like uh, you may find like some similarities but everything from where you place the rubble to the sand to the skulls is going to change it up and then uh, every one of these armies even though I've done like this specific like paint style or scheme before uh, is going to be completely unique and uh, very happy with this one going out of the studio I already spoke with the uh, with the um, customer about the commission showed him some pictures and he is absolutely ecstatic this is only part one of three parts for this army so this is going to be a massive army uh, when it's all said and done and uh, probably one of the biggest we've ever done out of the studio uh, but part one is complete and uh, obviously gives you like the core force and uh, everything you could possibly use for I mean I'm, I'm not sure the exact points on this army but it's well over 2,000 points probably closer to three or four thousand points depending how you equip everything um, and uh, obviously you know when you're not playing with this thing absolutely beautiful to uh, put on display and uh, a real centerpiece to uh, any collection of the Imperium of Mankind uh, truly truly ready to guard the Emperor and uh, destroy some chaos or uh, demons or Xenos in his name so 
Uh, once again, if you like the video, uh, if you like the content and uh, showing off the commissions and everything, highly recommend that you subscribe to the channel. Do everything from uh, these commission displays, show offs, kind of, to uh, you know customization, show you how to magnetize stuff, how to make your own bases, how to do cool conversions like the uh, bike over here. Uh, pretty much anything I do, I try to just show off and uh, share with the community uh, in hopes that uh, you know I'll help other people to uh, make their collections, armies, whatever, uh, you know, better as well. Uh, so make sure you like and subscribe. We also do stuff like reviews, previews, uh, everything from Warhammer 40K, Age of Sigmar, Warcry, Necromunda, uh, all the other good stuff as well, uh, unboxings. And uh, if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see that we don't do, uh, once again, leave it in the comments. And, uh, you know, if it makes sense or people are interested in it, I'm more than likely, uh, you know, willing to do that as well. So, uh, but definitely appreciate all the support. We are so close to a thousand subscribers so if you don't mind sharing this or telling your friends about it as well uh, maybe you could push us over the top we are going to do a big giveaway uh, for the thousand subscriber mark as uh, you know we've just uh, rounded a uh, year on YouTube and uh, really just been loving all the positive comments and uh, all the good feedback and everything and uh, just the overall growth of the channel so uh, but in the end uh, very happy with uh, how this army came out uh, I know the client is as well. I do apologize that I've just been so busy. I have not been able to get out as many videos as uh, I normally like to. I haven't been able to do as much of my own stuff just because of the uh, massive demand uh, for commissions through like these uh, last few months and everything. And uh, we're only just now coming up on the busy time of the year. So I can't even imagine it's going to slow down. But uh, it happens. I mean, that's the best problem to have, I guess, you know, so uh, I, I don't get to work on my own stuff quite as much uh, or content for the channel, but uh, the studio's growth and uh, overall finished products that we're able to put out has gone through the roof. So uh, well, there you have it, guys. Once again, thank you very much for all the support, uh, likes, subscribes, watches, uh, all that good stuff. And uh, I am Warhammer Man. This is Warhammer Man Studios, and I'm out of here.